Hello everyone, hope you have a lovely day. And uh, it's Friday, good Friday. Hey, just a nice Easter holiday to everyone, okay? So we have this uh, laptop. This is coming from uh, one of our customers. And uh, let me see the model of this laptop. It's an SS model X543N. That's the model of this SS laptop. The laptop came in as no power. So, can you fix one on a holiday? I think we can. I think we can. So, what we need to do is to plug in the charger. We have the charging port here. Plug in the charger. It's taking. You can see on the, on the screen there, we have a DC power supply. It's set on 19 volts, 19.3 volts, and it's taking... 20 milliamps, which is the right standby current. Huh? So, power on the laptop, no change of current. Nothing, it's not turning on, it's not doing anything. Obvious, no charging light here. So, we have a situation here. So, what can be faulty? What can be fought on this SS laptop? Hmm? All screws are out. Let's try to see how we can get inside this. We do have some clips. So The motherboard too dusty. Hmm? So what is the story with this motherboard? What is the story here? Charger plugged, still taking 200 milliamps, 20 milliamps standby current. Oh, what can be the story here? No voltage. We have zero. Zero. We do have 19 on the charging port. Okay. On the keyboard connector, do you have 3.3? No 3.3. No 3.3. So, what is fault here? Huh? I can't see the input MOSFET on this side of the board. So I believe we have to go on the other side of the motherboard. That's where we are going right now. Hmm. I'm curious to see what kind of fault is here? But on such kind of boards, I don't think we have a shortage power rail. But I think something is wrong with the... You remember the DC input MOSFETs? Hmm? Remember those MOSFETs.
Got the motherboard. Okay. Let's check few things on this motherboard. Hmm? Let's check few things. Let's check few things. Diet. Got the charging port here. We do have the charging port. First MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor. From this point, the voltage is going everywhere. Huh? And the main 19 volts power line is not shorted. Hmm? I think we need to go on a microscope. Huh? We need to go on a microscope and check few things together. Huh? Let's see now. Let's see now what's going on here. We have the motherboard. That the motherboard. Let's just do a a quick visual inspection. Okay. What do we have here? We have the ENE chip. Wind bond. That the BIOS chip. Okay. So let's go to the input section. Because most of the problems they are they are here. So the charger is plugged. Let's check on the charging port. Check on the screen. 19.47. We have these two resistors in a, in a parallel mode input on the output we have 19 volts that means on this big MOSFET on the input we have 19 on the output we have zero on the gate of this MOSFET it's like zero you must have around 20 20 to 25 volts on this on this pin. Well, this is the gate of the MOSFET, which is going to the BQ chip. So obviously the main 19 volts power rail is missing. Once we have the second MOSFET, a smaller one, we have this current resistor, and we have zero here. You can see. So you see. Checking again, 19 volts on the output, we have zero on the gate, zero. Where's the big U chip? Oh, that's the chip. You see, that's the big U chip. On the big U chip, we want to check the V in 18, 19 volts. 19.2 we have we have voltage on this chip okay five volts pin number six where's pin number six ac detect pin two point two point six four you can see pin number six of the big u chip so I believe the, the big U chip is working fine. So let's unplug the charger. Let's go back on those MOSFETs. Let's play here. Huh? Diet mode. Let's check those MOSFETs. Drain to source. 
Okay. In source to gate. Why source is beeping with gate? Huh? This capacitor is shorted. This MOSFET looks shorted. The second MOSFET is shorted. But the main 19 volts power line comparing to ground is not shorted. So here we have a, a capacitor in between first and second MOSFET is reading a short 0 ohms. We have the second MOSFET again is a reading a short. So what is the problem here? Huh? I believe the problem is the second MOSFET. Hmm? So let's take down this MOSFET. Let's take down this MOSFET very fast. So let's take down the second MOSFET. Let's take down the second MOSFET. Hmm? Let's take down the suspect. Our MOSFET is out. I think we can check that capacitor again. We took down the MOSFET. Let's check that. Let's check down this capacitor again. And the capacitor is good. Drain to source. So that was a shorted MOSFET. Huh? This one. Drain source. So this MOSFET is not good. This is not good. Let me look for replacement. Hmm. Can you get our replacement here? I think you can. I think we can get our replacement here. This must fail from another board just to drink something. New MOSFET. Just like that. Very easy. Very easy. Nice repair on an Easter holiday. Hmm?
I'm sure now we must have 19 volts on the motherboard. Let's see now. Let's see now. Let's plug in the charger. And it's taking 170. Huh? Now it's taking I think this motherboard is just on. Huh? Let's check voltages. On the current sensor, we now have 19. What I want to check, I want to check on the on on the ENE chip and check here this board is just on check the LEDs you see those LEDs so the <laughs> the motherboard just came on huh I can't believe this motherboard just came on huh Let's put all together and test. Let's put all together and test. That was an easy repair. Hmm? Just a nice easy repair. Let's put the top cover. That the top cover. I'm curious to see if we have a working laptop here. Because I've seen some lights. Okay. Oh. Do you think we now have a working laptop? Let's plug in the charger. 17 milliamps. The laptop is starting by its own. And we have SRs. Huh? The laptop is working fine. There's BIOS password here. I can't proceed. Huh? And it's charging fine. Check the current. It's taking one, 1.5 amps. Hmm? So, that's how you can fix a dead laptop motherboard. This laptop has got a BIOS password. And I'm 100% sure the owner knows the password. But the power issue is fixed. We have some charging light, everything. Huh? The keyboard is responding. Invalid. Invalid password. But the keyboard is responding. Off. On. SS. Check. The keyboard is responding. So, I'll stop this video now. Hope you learned something, how you can diagonalize and fix a dead laptop motherboard. That was just a jackpot for Good Friday. Huh? What can I say? Just enjoy the holiday. Good Friday, Easter Saturday, Easter Sunday. And probably see you after holiday. Bye.